Hi guys, I'm Justin Allen from Everything Just Bake, and today I'm here with Bake Deco to make this delicious apple pie. And I know it looks like a pie, but it's actually a cake, even the ceramic dish on the outside. So if you're interested, let's just get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is use a pie tin, and like I have here, and then you're going to fill it with your batter. Any batter works, you can use box cake or your favorite cake recipe. And today I just have some vanilla cake, but you can also do like a cinnamon cake and have something delicious. So you're going to just want to attach it to a cake board, and then you're just going to want to fill it with some buttercream, like I'm doing here. And you just want to cover it, get it nice and buttercreamed up, you know? So now that I got buttercream all over, I'm taking an acetate smoother, which is just thin plastic. I'm just shaping it up a little bit, getting it clean. And since it's nice and curved, the acetate smoother is great because you can curve it to your liking, like I am here. And that's just keeping it more of the pie thin shape. You don't want to have it straight sides and sharp edges. You want it more rounded. And now I have some apples here. I'm just peeling them to prepare my apple pie filling. So it's super easy and super delicious. So you just want about five or six apples, depending on how big your pie is. And today, of course, we're going to get apple pie. So just peel them, and then you're going to chop them up into little slices, just like an apple pie filling. And some people like to use the coring machine, but I think it's just so much easier to just use a knife. And just be careful, use a sharp knife, and yeah, super easy. And once you cut them all up, put them in a pot or a saucepan, and you're gonna add some cinnamon. And as you can see, I like a lot of cinnamon, so be generous. Some brown sugar, and a little bit of butter, and some salt. And that's just really gonna bring all the flavors together. And you're just gonna cook it down like I just showed you. And now you're going to want to apply some buttercream again, just another coat, this is a final ice, and you just want to do the same thing as we did with the crumb coat. Get it nice and brown and make it look like a pie tin as opposed to a cake. So right here, I have some cupcakes that I had. I'm just crumbling it up just to create some texture to the cake. So I'm just applying it all over the cake that we just iced. And you can do this while the buttercream is still wet, so it's easier to attach. And this is going to create different heights. So when you apply the apples, it's nice and elevated, has various heights, just like a real apple pie would, because it wouldn't be all flat and even. And you're just going to want to cover it up with some buttercream so all that crumbs get locked in. And again, you can see the various thickness in the height. Now it's the fun part. So I have some fondant here, and I, you could get this fondant from Bake Deco, of course, like everything I'm using. And you're just gonna smooth it out, get it nice and big, and you're gonna wrap it around the cake. This is called paneling, and this is gonna help us get that porcelain cake tin look. And you could do any shape, any color you would like. You could even do like decorative pattern, like a hand painting. You could do polka dots. The options are truly endless, but I just chose a basic white pie tin. So you can see here, I'm just cutting it out. Gonna get to the right size and just gonna pan on it again, which means you roll it on your rolling pin and wrap it around the cake. So now I have my um, fondant here, and again, I'm just wrapping around the cake. And you kind of want to do this kind of fast so it doesn't dry out. And you just get smoother all around the cake. And we're going to get to the excess later, but just try to get underneath and keep that shape so it looks like an porcelain. And it's looking great already. I'm super excited. So 
So now that I got it nice and smooth, I'm just taking the excess on the top and I'm just leaning it back just so it could create um, a nice lip like a pie tin would have. And again, I'm keeping it white and I'm doing a little decorative design on the sides by doing a little crimping, a little pinching every here and there just to create a little more texture, a little more dimension of realism. And I have some brown food coloring here mixed with some Everclear or any clear grade alcohol will work, even lemon extract. I'm just painting the pie real quick. So this way, and no white would show when we put over the apples that are cooked and it's brown so it would blend in nice and easily. So here's the cooked apples and they look so delicious. I'm just gonna pot it on top. No right way to do this, just make it look nice and delicious like an apple pie would. So now I'm grabbing more fondant and we're gonna work in the lattice pattern. So when you're doing lattice, just like a pie crust, it's the same concept. I have this little roller that makes it really easy to create even strips. And I'm just gonna do long strips and we're gonna place it across the pie cake. So I'm applying the fondant one by one in um, the same direction, and this is how you start to lattice. So once you apply it enough, and I'm cutting off the excess if it's really long to do it, and now you're gonna go across the opposite way, so horizontal. So now you wanna lift every one every so often, so every other, and you just keep applying to get the full lattice pattern. So it's super easy, and it makes more sense when you're watching it, so I'm gonna let it continue. Wow, it's looking so great already, so now let's paint this. So next time I would use some colored fondant rather than the white fondant for the lattice, just so it's easier and I don't have to dust it as much. But I just have some cocoa powder here and I also have some brown food coloring that I'm mixing with, again, Everclear. I'm just gonna mix it together and I didn't love the brown food coloring with the Everclear, so I ended up scratching the idea and mainly focusing on the cocoa powder. As you can see, I'm about to wipe it off with some Everclear, which helped a little bit, but I ended up covering it. This part is my favorite technique. You just take a blowtorch and you literally torch the fondant. And because it's kind of similar to marshmallows, it torches up beautifully and it makes it look like it's a baked pie. And I know that spot looks major. I ended up taking it out later on, which you'll see. But the best thing I found, especially if you did white fondant, is just use some cocoa powder to give it that brown deepness and then to get that golden caramelized look, use the um, blowtorch. And these tools are all readily available. I didn't want to use any specialty paints because this is supposed to be an easy pie that anyone can mimic. So cocoa powder we all have in our kitchens and we all have a blowtorch. So I'm just continuing to dust it and again I'm focusing on the cocoa powder 
and you can see the lattice packs just coming together. You don't have to have it covered everywhere. I feel like the more sporadic look makes it more realistic. Just think about how a real apple pie would look. It's not always evenly cooked. Sometimes it's dark on one side and then the other side. So just really utilize your tools, really utilize that blowtorch. I feel like that gave it the best look and made it look really toasty, caramelized, and just so delicious. And it's looking so good right away. And look how easy it was. It didn't take much time at all. And this is the final product. As you guys can see, I am loving it. It looks so great. And again, it's all cake, which is crazy. It's all edible. The apples are even real apples. It's just so delicious and so easy to do. You guys can impress all your guests, your friends, your family, and fool them. And the options are truly endless. You can do a cherry pie. You could do a pumpkin pie. You can literally do any pie, any pie tin decorations. And again, the best part is it's delicious. And all the tools are available at bakedeco.com. So again, make sure to check them out. And this is the final product, guys. Look how cool it looks. No one would even guess it's a cake. You could fool anyone, I can guarantee. And the best part, it's edible and it's delicious.